Another three-point attempt. Rebound, and, and again. And straight back up. This Valley time two. it connects, and it's three points for Shanice Jenkins. As six so far this afternoon. And it's another three. Massive. And once oh. again, unsuccessful with another O board. About to say another massive rebound, but Ballarat come away with yeah. it. Yeah. The last That's couple of weeks. Start from O'Neill today to go as well. That nice little mid-range jumper and, and got the stop defensively there before. I know that's what the coach is wanting. And it's splash Great. from Millie Cracknell to end the first quarter of play. It's going tit for tat so far this afternoon. And it's the rush leading by a single point. The pass to O'Neill was intercepted there by Jenkins off the glass. An easy finish for two points. Bow, she's a tall player, plays for the Chinese Taipei team, international level. And now Jenkins, it looks good all the way. Hard fought win last night against Frankston. As I mentioned, Ballarat had a tough loss to Killsyth. It's another three for Jenkins. As I said, they were shooting themselves into form in that first quarter. There's very few players in this league that are going to go with Mulligan one on one down low. She has 12 points already so far this afternoon. And now, once again, it's Hackman who knocks three. it in. She is shooting the ball at, what, 43, 42, 43 percent at the perimeter, I believe, this year. She gets three or four attempts away a game. That's an end of Ballarat fire back with another three. So you could argue one each for uh, Ballarat. And, oh, yeah. Oh, another three, three ball for Jenkins. Has 18 points. Leads all scorers. And lead by 13 points. Panousis. And now Mulligan. Jenkins puts it in from the long two-point area. And they head into halftime with all the momentum, leading by 15 points.